church, please turn around as we welcome our Father to bless this morning service. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah, the youth called it. Uh, uh, the youth called it. Uh, hmm. uh, today is just praise. High praise unto Jehovah. But I want to ask you, are you really sure you know what you're doing? The question is, I know the Holy Spirit is the one that have moved you to say today is just this morning is praise. Yes, this month is our month of high praise. But do you really know what you're doing? Are you sure? Are you sure you know what you're doing? Are you sure you know why Holy Ghost has asked you or has made this day a day of praise? And the challenging question is, the challenging question is, do you know your end? That's the challenging question. Why are you praising God? Why are you in the mood of high praise? What is your end? Can somebody just tell me what is his end? Why he's praising God? You know, this is not a season that you just stand up and start praising God. It's a season when you see your end. What is your end? The, you know, the, one of the things that helps me in time of challenges is what people say about me. Does that make sense? I try to challenge, not the bad ones, but you know, when they talk whether the good or the bad ones, it, it, it's good because it's a good sign that you're doing something. If people are not reacting to what you're doing, you're not doing anything. So, but I listen to the good one. You know, some people will just say, just like uh, somebody that visited my house on Saturday, I was not there. But with the interaction he had with Glory, and they seen my whole family the way they were doing, he came to a conclusion. Why? Because he saw my seeds by their fruits we shall know them. And he started telling my wife a lot of things, which I, we never knew. He started saying, this good, this guy, Pastor Joseph is this, this, although he doesn't. Joseph is that. And he was even thinking that our children were behaving the way they were behaving because they are in Christian school. And these are the things that challenges me. People have already started reading me as a Bible. Why should I discontinue that? Does that make sense? I know where I'm going. So, season of high praise is not just a season you keep on throwing oh this is praise I throw this is praise I throw you start throwing praise everywhere this is praise oh, from my head I throw this is from my bum of my throat you know throwing praise is foolishness season of high praise is you are seeing that which you never believe that can happen you see your future coming to pass you are seeing what holy ghost showed you that is impossible Becoming a reality. It must be tuned. Have I, I thought here on Sunday, I said it's not just a, a season. It's not a praise. It's a level. Are you getting what I'm saying? So are you seeing your end or are you still seeing within? I want some song in the background. Praise the Lord. We are about to praise God. And this is the last bit of it because we have to understand what we are doing. What are you seeing? Me and my wife, we sat down this year, 2018. We saw the grace of God. We set up some, you know, some projects, impossible projects. As I'm talking to you now, all is done. Are you getting it? You, January, we said with this, we are going to achieve this for the church. We're going to achieve this for our family. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. We didn't, we depended on God. So now we are giving praise. We are giving praise because it is done. It's not something we wouldn't have. We wouldn't have if trouble was everywhere. If we had trouble everywhere. We're, 
if there were somebody is sick or this. But because God has solved all our problems, He has removed all our troubles. He said, Oh ye mighty, oh ye mighty, a level. The level is called mighty. Oh ye mighty, give him praise. Give him are you ready to give him praise? Libako Sakatea. Falling on you today. The rain of favor. Falling on you today. I can't change it. It's blessing someone today. I say, I can't change it. Church, let's go. I say. Oh yes, I would dance, I would dance. 
Why are you giving God praise? I can look back and see what God is doing in my life and my family. I can look back and see God. I don't know. Whenever I see, let me tell you, I can now understand the level what my father, a bishop, he will stand and speak to the devil and speak to the demon that, you know, has held somebody captive, maybe in the ears or the eyes, and say, get out. Church, you can't test that realm, that realm unspeakable, and will not live a life of high praise. Don't forget, when you are sad, you are weak. The only weakness in Christianity is sadness. The only weakness in Christianity is what? Sadness and ignorance. These are weaknesses in Christianity. Somebody that is not strong is not weak. According to Christianity. Weaknesses are what? Unbelief. Weaknesses are what? Laziness. Weaknesses are what? Ignorant. The greatest weakness that can make you not to move forward is sadness. How do you know? Because the greatest strength you need to move forward, the joy of the Lord is our strength. Amen. A high prayer, a life of somebody that is, is down, somebody that is living a life of high praise can never be weak. Can never. Because all the strength you need to succeed. Imagine, if I can stand and look back. If I start telling you what God, what God did for us this year, 2018, it started from when we supported the church. The church we supported the church to buy a land, 1.1 million naira. We supported a church in Nigeria to buy a land. Imagine us, a 1.1 million naira. And when they got it, our own miracle started. Miracle everywhere. I said, God. And when I look at all those things, I begin to thank God. You, oh church, you know everything. We, God gave us our own land. God started doing something awesome, great. Positioned us in a level we never expected. Positioned us not only physically, spiritually, and, and uh, uh, economically, but also brought us to a level of faith called unspeakable. A level where nothing is impossible. A level where you will be speaking and it will be happening. Shakaburia, Bakuria. Can we sing that song the final time? Then we close. It has been a wonderful praise time. Shakaboria. Oh, yes, Lord. We are here again. Hakachineke, we are here again. Yes, Lord. We are here to worship you. Oh, yes. Jehovah, 
calling on you today. Can you just lift up your hands and begin to thank God? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. Thank you for what you have done in our lives. Thank you for the healing. Thank you for the promotion. Thank you for the provision. Thank you for a wonderful service. Lord, we are not going to stop in praising you. We shall continue forever and ever. Thank you, O oh God, for this wonderful service. Lord, I ask, O oh God, that you bless your people. Cause your face to shine upon them. Make them relevant in every facet of their lives. Build their homes for them. Build their lives for them. Build their ministries for them. Lord, as we have celebrated before you, which is like paying in advance for all that you have promised us. Paying advance, in advance, for all the miracles, for all the good things. Lord, we thank you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the thanks. 
Let your light shine upon your people. Let your peace envelop them. Let your power submerge them. Let your favor, O oh God, Marquis Keriada, Buscaria, swallow them, even now and forevermore. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, even as we share the loss, let us finish share the grace. May the grace.